initiation retro. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to bypass Bloom security doors and get inside. Then find and erase your personal CTOS profile. Whatever they have on me, it's all bullshit. And I'm sick of getting harassed for it. All the more reason for a purge. We'll be watching. Try to keep up. By the way, we put this playlist together to set the mood. Hope you like it. You're wasting your time. He's not in. Gotcha. So that's him. He's got a gun. Is that a problem? Well, problems are why you keep me around, right? Time him. I'm curious. Too late. He's in. Already? Don't say I don't know. I have no idea. Nuh-uh. No synonyms either. Give me a real answer. I'm just not that into aliens or video games. It's not just any alien. It's... Oh, come on. Anyone else having a problem with their... Ooh, what? Oh, God. Oh, God! that already? Yeah, I never listen.
what's his deal? He was raised in Oakland, but was born in... <laughs> his deal is, he's been hanging around the DedSec IRC, and he's got cred. Figured we'd give him a test drive. On the hardest difficulty, nobody's been able to delete their CTOS profile before. I want to see if he's smart, stubborn, or both. CTOS tagged him as the prime suspect in a high-tech burglary, so... He's done time? Community service. Not enough evidence. Just the word of CTOS's predictive algorithms. But once in the system... Always in the system. Holy shit! <laughs> he went for it! You won't have much time before the backups kick in. Going in the hot aisle. It's at least 120 degrees in there. Give the man props. It's going the mile. Nobody's gotten that far. This is like the secret cow level. Why is my threat so hot? This is bullshit. I could just... gonna drop a little back door into the system so I can get back inside later. Sorry, Bloom. We've got unfinished business. He's heading out. 
Bag him. Yep. Something over there. Fuck him, I'll go. In 2013, Chicago realized the promise of smart cities with CTOS, a citywide operating system merging big data with surveillance, security, and transit programs. With a few hundred lines of code, hackers were able to hijack its central servers and cripple the entire grid. Many believed the attack would be a killing blow for smart city development. They were wrong. Coordinated from the heart of Silicon Valley, CTOS 2.0 has been implemented across the United States, ushering in the Internet of Things. 6.4 billion connected devices now serve as collection points, mapping and recording our daily routines, making a more secure and more invasive system. But who else is listening? Big Brother no longer works alone. Thousands of little brothers monitor and aggregate your every move building a complete digital profile of you to be bought, sold, or stolen in an instant. Toys study your children, reporting their play habits back to marketers. Appliances, consoles, and home security systems give corporations a window into your private life. Control of your vehicle and mobile device can now be breached remotely by anyone at any time. You may think that you are immune or underestimate the risk, but your digital shadow is already compromised. Insurance companies use algorithms to monitor your life habits and limit or deny coverage. Health providers determine if your cancer is is worth treating. Search results and news fees are skewed to bias mood and influence your vote, engineering social uprisings on a massive scale. You are now less valuable than the data you produce. Data you produce. This is the new reality. Going dark is no longer an option. With threats to personal freedom rising, many are stepping forward. Whistleblowers, activists, and hackers have drawn their battle lines, putting the establishment on watch. But are they threats themselves, or have they become freedom's last line of defense? Freedom's last line of defense. So, am I in? Welcome to Dead Sack. <sighs> I'm Satara. This sweetheart is Josh, AKA Hot Sauce. Yo, you're Hot Sauce? Yo, man, I loved your frat house hat. Real talk. Thanks. This weirdo's wrench. The needs of the many. And this Casanova is Horatio. What's up, brother? Something. It's the crew, huh? Took y'all long enough to come get me. Shit. You saw Bloom's bullshit. 
CTOS isn't just regulating infrastructure. The amount of personal data that thing is collecting is fucking mind-blowing. Yeah. It's big brother and little brother all rolled up into one. Huh? Sees everything you do and tells on you. Thank you, Josh. So what's the fix? Sledgehammers and fire. No! Sledgehammers on fire. I'm sorry. <laughs> All of that data in one place means they can reject your fucking application before you click on it. Congratulations, you have been pre-rejected for our credit card. Or your house, or your insurance. That's not even the worst case scenario. All that data in the hands of the government? They'll arrest you for shit before you even do it. Yeah, I've been there. I don't fucking know why. Man, f fuck it! Fuck it, man. We're hackers. We we out think, we out dare. I, I say we tear down the fucking wall. Hey, show everyone what what Bloom's up to, man. Show show the world that their personal data is being used to rob them of their fucking freedoms. Fuck. I installed a back door, so all we gotta do is walk right through. Hold on. What? He installed the back door, so all we have to do is walk through. Bingo. Hey, man. Do you have the time? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. I... I got it. I got it. It's kind of late for a night run, isn't it? Hey, what are you, what are you running from the cops? <laughs> Maybe I am one. Hey, hey you, you look familiar. <laughs> Have a good party. Fucking king this motherfucker. Fuck you, Bloom. I'm gonna go have a goddamn good time. Damn. Damn, walk of shame on my first day.
To drive, You're gonna asshole. kill me?
All right, Sitar, so where you at? Sending you the location and the passcode for the door. Whoever sent me this is gonna friggin' pay! Watch yourself! Yo! Finally! So Josh and I spoke, and fucking over Bloom has been a long-standing project. All right, you need two things to take down Bloom. You need to get people to rally behind your cause to separate you from the trolls. And we need bots, and a lot of them to handle the data CTOS is processing. Thank you, Josh. We spent all night modifying our app so you can get followers to download the app, and we can use their processing power for the cause. This is happening? It's really happening? Mm -hmm. Man, this is happening. You better get to it. <laughs> Hell yeah, man! Barbarians are at the gate, ready to bust some Roman heads. And yeah, we're gonna focus on some high-profile ops, playing for exposure and laughs to get people to download our app. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't worry. So that was something fun. <laughs> Marcus! <laughs> Check you out! Alive and dry. I wasn't sure after your moonlight swim. Come here. You've got to check this out. Our very own open source research app. So, like, all of us here pool vulnerabilities that we find, and we encourage everyone to share their work, their research, etc. Okay, so what's the research app do? Widen our skill set? Make us irresistible to the gender of our choice? What, so it's like a I know kung fu kind of deal? If kung fu was a gender and not so 1999, absolutely.
behold, the wonders of technology. A 3D printer? This is the army of printers. It is capable of pumping out an arsenal of lethal weapons down. Seriously? Yep. Once you master it, voila! Hipster merchant of death. All good, except I'm no hipster. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. Now try to make something. But don't blow us up. Good to have another brother here. Good to be here, man. Are you all hackers? Yeah, kind of a basic requirement to get invited into the hacker space. But we all have our specialties, like Josh over there. Always building shit that shouldn't work. Now he's trying to build this big-ass drone. And Wrench? Good engineer, too. But better at breaking shit apart. And yo, Satara? <laughs> Sis got skills as an artist and a graphic designer. Without her, dead sex walking around without a face or voice. What about you? What's your superpower? Tactical coordinator, or cat herder. Take your pick. I make dead sec go where it has the most impact. You heard of Primate? Those are some real dirty hacking motherfuckers. Yeah, I've brushed up against them before. It wasn't pleasant. All right, that's what I like to hear. Link up with me when you're ready to do this, and I'll fill you in. There's always someone running ops against Primate. Bet they'd love your help. It's something, right? This whole place is something. We used to keep track of news feeds on here, but now it's our follower wall. So it knows if we're trending? No, no, no. It's based on hard values. How many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we have access to, you know. <laughs> nice. And speaking of which, we're downloading the DeadSec app into your phone as we speak. When it's ready, open it up, click the suggested op, and hit the park outside so we can test it. Sounds good. One more thing. 
I put a reminder on your phone so you remember what we're gunning for. Get enough processing power to take down Bloom. Coming up after the break, we'll be sitting down with a former street artist. Sweet T, as he's known in the community, is here to promote a new book of his art and a brand new fashion line, including t-shirts, caps, and bling. Apps downloaded and I'm in the park. What am I testing? Start profiling things around you. People, devices. See what you can pull from them. That's what helps us figure out our next ops. And running ops that are important to people is how we get them interested in DeadSec. The more followers download our app, the more intel we get. It's the circle of life. Oh, and see if you can find some components to help us with our research. Keeps the merchant. <sighs> the app is your data mining tool. Of death. Okay, okay, I got this. So what now? Up to you, man. You're free to do whatever catches your eye. We post ops to the DeadSec app, and doing them helps us get followers. And followers are our Skrilla. Followers mean computers, which boosts our processing power, which lets us do bigger and badder ops. Hey, so what's this about Bobo Dakes? You know Bobo's working on a new album, right? Yeah, I heard. Well, you won't get to hear it? Motherfucker Gene Carcaney just put millions on the table to keep it all to himself. What does a big pharma CEO want with a rap album? Dude has a huge Bobo collection. And he probably wants to hang that shit on his wall like a damn trophy. It's just rubbing his money in our faces, bruh. Do you know if Bobo took the deal? He hasn't announced anything yet, but he will. It's a lot of cash. And maybe there's still time for an intervention. Time for what? I assume you guys have heard of Gene Carcani? He's the shit sack who's on TV laughing about how he's raising the price of leukemia medicine. Yeah, the most hated man in America? Yeah, why do you ask? Guy's a huge Bobo Dakes fan. Must have read Bobo's in town recording new tracks because he's offering millions to keep the album to himself. So stupid. Bobo will never go for it. The real one won't. So we're gonna do it for him. I'm gonna visit Bobo and see if I can borrow some of his new tracks as proof that we're legit. How do we contact Karkani? I need you guys to run through interviews, podcasts, whatever. Find me some usable lines. We're gonna make a sound boy. Ooh, I love this. No, I, 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 yeah. Sorry. Mm, uh, yeah. They took our neighborhood. Are we just gonna let them take our music too? Enough is enough. <laughs>
Marcus, guys, the Cyber Driver trailer just dropped. Oh, yeah, sweet. Hey, don't watch it without me. <laughs> Meet you at the hacker's wave. I'm on my way. Yes. Right, yeah. Spiritual organization New Dawn is accusing Oakland City Councilor Miranda Kamei of defamation. In a recent interview, the councilor had described the organization as, quote, a fraudulent pyramid scheme. The organization seems to have fought back with more than just lawyers. The councilor's private life was recently revealed when medical records of the councilor's transgender treatments were mysteriously released to the media. A spokesperson for New Dawn said that the organization had nothing to do with the leaked medical records and in her statement accused Councillor Kamei of desperately seeking attention.
keeping an eye open for the suspect. I'm gonna lock this guy down! In pursuit, suspect is back in range. We're going weapons free. Squad, we're on location and searching for the suspect now. Well, uh, see if we can block him. Got it done, Wrench. Awesome. I'll let the crew know. seen the trailer for the new Jimmy Siska movie? No, it's out. Hey, 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 pull it up, no, man. No, no, not on this. For this, we need perfect sound. We need a big screen. We need to be comfy. Right. We need quiet. Have you seen it yet? No, man. I waited for you. You're the best. Thank you. All right, everybody, we're going to watch the trailer. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. In a world where technology connects everything. I'm not working for justice, goddammit. One man prowls the information superhighway in search of cyber justice. I'm looking for cyber justice. A simple line of code could devastate the whole world. It's gonna be a cyber caster. Cyber Driver. Hit him with the code for a chip. Jimmy Siska is... Got no choice, kiddies. Follow me or die. Devin Von Devin. We gotta get these hackers somewhere safe. They aren't hackers, Devin. They're just script kiddies. Hey, the car answered. This ain't your mama's smart car. I think next time we're gonna need a higher firewall, pal. Cyber, Cyber Driver. Action hero, badass. Talking car. A admit it, Josh. The car is cool. You know what I'm thinking? 
we cut our own version of that trailer. And that car is going to help us do it. Real? Would not have us a ton of followers. Yo, first, Josh and I will go to the studio to get that script. We'll look around and see what other gems they have about death sec. And we'll look for the car. All right, so what's the deal here? Are we, are we issuing an advisory? No, why would we do that? They'll just patch the holes. No, uh, let them. Don't worry, Cyber Child. Oh, don't. Hacker movie's gonna get hacked. HMP Studios, we are holding you solely responsible for the threat that is Cyber Driver. Cheesy stunts and bad dialogue, we can take. But you've insulted our intelligence. And that we can't excuse. It seems like you could do with a lesson on what hackers are capable of. And since you didn't come to us to learn, we'll come to you to teach. We are launching Operation Hack and Run. We'll show you what hackers can do. We are dead set. What? What's going on here? Huh? Huh. What? Oh my god. This is so cool. What the hell? You guys thought that movie was gonna be good? <laughs> well, yeah, sure. The fun to laugh at. Cool. You said. Uh, did I actually say cool? Here's what we know, Josh. Cyber Driver is shaped up to be a million dollar cyber catastrophe. I know you're trying to get my goats with that word. Uh, I don't want that, man. Keep your goats. Why would Galilei allow their name to be sullied you mean cyberized you can keep trying but it will never be funny to me i'm not gonna lie if those scenes were what they chose for the trailer yeah the rest of it's gonna be jack shit and why they chose to target dead sec is curious well chicago was a big deal true anyway don't worry you and me are prowling the information highway to seek out our own cyber justice look josh we're gonna have fun with this and i promise i won't say cyber anymore you know after this the cyber world will never be the same. <laughs> And there it is, Hook Motion Picture Studios. buying this new dawn bullshit it's obviously a money-making scheme disguised as a new age church these things usually target the uneducated and the elderly but i'm seeing in hey man what's up not much what's new with you oh you know the usual Okay, guys, I'm in. Running a bit. 
later than expected. I know. I know, it's fine. We need to salvage this as best we can, so we lock the scene again. Places! And when she looks down, that's when Devin Von That's far enough. I won't hesitate. Right, and you say Devin's blind. Total BS. Here we go. Nice. The not so secret emails.
I found it. We got the full script to Cyberdriver. What about the car? I don't think it's on site. We'll find it. I'm heading out now. I found an email that says the car is being delivered to a location, but doesn't say where or when. That's okay. I think I have a backup plan. Marcus, I have a paparazzi contact who knows where the car is. He's waiting for you. We'll give him whatever he asks for out of that email dump. He's good for it. Sure. You have a paparazzi contact? <laughs> is there anyone you don't know? That's me. Social butterfly. Congrats, Marcus. Our follower count is growing fast. How many are actually giving us access to their computers? All of them. That's the point. They give us access to their power. We grow a network of computers that makes us stronger. Our own giant cloud computing network. So do people sign a contract? I vow to let DedSec own my processor? We're transparent. They know before they ever install the app that they're giving us access to their computing power. But never their personal info. That's a lot of trust. Silicon Valley would kill to have that level of intrusion. Private data farming runs their whole economy. Yeah, but we look out for our own, man. That's why people are joining our movement. To make a statement against the technocrats. Uh-huh. Well, I... Right, but... Can I just...
that shit crazy. <laughs> Who said that? Potatoes and For real, that's what I said. Yeah, a friend made it for all of us in school. If you want deets on where the car is at, better have something juicy for me. Like Jimmy Siska and pop star Nelly Shire? They are banging. I knew it. See, okay, now we're talking. Consider it sent. <laughs> Hella cool. Coolosity. All right, I sent you the GPS of the car's route.
swing it back around. <laughs> Copy that. A patrol car is en route to the suspect. <laughs> you can't hide from us forever. <laughs> I'm clear. Meet you at the garage. On my way. I am Devin Von Devin, and I am... You are not Devin. Devin Von Devin is handsome and swarthy. <laughs> you are not. Oh, come on. I'm sure as hell swarthier than any dude named Von Devin. Ah! Damn, Silicon Valley couldn't hire one brother? My Galilei creators think of everything. Yeah, maybe not everything. Oh, man, this car, this car is something else. Yeah, well, kudos to Galilee for getting the studio to pay for this lemon. Lemon? Did you hear it? And never mind voice recognition. I mean, sure, it needs a smack of sided scripting, but it had cogent responses. Do you know how much work had to go into that? Uh, Galilee has been talking about machine learning for their Mars probe, but, man, I didn't expect it to be as advanced as it... Oh, man. I know it! I do not approve of you driving me, Marcus. You're not as swarthy as Devin Von Devon. I knew it had too much smart ass to be smart. Wow! Shiny and new. So it wasn't responding at all? Well, does, um... Does, does that count? Yeah, fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> The car's designed for autonomous control, but nothing's there or even calibrated. It's capable, but suboptimal, not junk. See? That's what I'm talking about. Think positive. It's just stupid. So that's the plan? Fix a smart car the space company couldn't? Problem? No, we got this. Hmm. He ain't going nowhere. Find him.
Sherpas, generators. There's even a service that picks your outfits for you. So? You're gonna stop going because it's trendy now? I care that it's gone mainstream or trendy, whatever. I can use toe. Guys, has DeadSec ever run a Farmingtons up? Farmingtons? Why would we? No idea. But it looks like they've been firing employees who take even a passing interest in us. That's probably illegal. I'm gonna visit one of their pharmacies and see if I can get into the company system. Find out what's going on behind the scenes there. Hey, um, while you're there, I have a few prescriptions that need refilling under Josh's name, of course. Have you been stealing my pills? What? Oh, that's... no, <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Forget asked. I'm sorry. Listen, buddy, you gotta leave. Coffee shops have Wi Fi. What's a brother gotta do? My insurance rates go up for no damn reason. Every month. You understand? Every damn month. Every month for no reason? I called Provi Blue, but they just gave me some runaround. Risk clause, they tell me. It's a bullshit clause, is what it is. Same thing happens to almost everybody I know. Goddamn insurance. Huh? Anybody here use Provi Blue insurance? No. I hacked my government payout to give me full coverage. Who the fuck needs insurance? Why? What's probably up to? Sounds like they're ripping people off with a risk clause. Seems like a good reason to look around in Provi Blue's servers. It'll go faster if I have a password. Finding an employee near you right now. There he is. IT guy. He'll have one.
This should come in handy. Hey, Marcus, meet Wrench in the garage when you're ready. Will do. Hackers love a challenge. Guys, let's fire it up.
Started out as just a trickle, then boom. The numbers haven't stopped climbing. This is a good target. Yeah, but... Was it? You don't think? No, I mean, of course, look at the numbers, but... I don't know, there's... I mean, what are we gonna do? You know, for real. Aim bigger. Hell yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. Are you watching? <laughs> no. It's like sadtube.com. A channel for sad people, am I right? <laughs> yes, them. I mean, come on. Look at them. They've got their own goddamn branding. I've been following them since they accessed our server network. Jesus Christ, don't yell in my fucking ear. Use your inside voice, will ya? Anyways, it's all done other than the handshake. We're working with the human Izulu in case it gets to the collateral damage part of the relationship. They'll be discreet. Marcus, those nude on parasites got our recruitment video killed. Can you believe it? Oh, I believe it. Jimmy Cisco's greatest fits? Uh, say it ain't so. What are we gonna do?
do about it? Come by the hackerspace when you have a minute, and we'll figure out the best way to pay them back. Hi. Hey, Marcus, I got something to show you. Am I gonna like it? I'm gonna say 30 to 1 odds against. Then I guess I better get it out the way. See you soon. Yo, Wrench. Yo, Em. Damn, man, I hope you kept the receipts. Hey, yo, check out this fuck stick. So tell us about Home 2.0. <laughs> Home systems are completely bulletproof. Your privacy is absolutely secure. Bold claim, Steven. Aren't you worried hacker groups will see that as a challenge? Well, say what you mean, Shirley. Dead sec. Not if they want to go up against us. I invite them to try. <laughs> Home 2.0 is an OS with teeth. Yo, he called us out by name? Yep. He don't know who he fucking with. It's on now. And that's why I've been trying to crack 2.0. There's just one see little problem. What? Here, hold this. Stand back. Great. Chip! It's a little... Oh, hard to get out. Look, there's no point in trying to use the previous version's hardware to jack the new OS. Why? Because they changed the ports. Following the capital sky to force obsolescence. But luckily, a little birdie told me that 2.0 should be packing a farm fresh zero day. Ooh, now that might just be a shame. Damn right. And that is why you, my friend, are going to hijack me a 2.0 pre-order shipment before some do-gooder white hat tells home how to cock block us.
You've got a weird relationship with technology. You know that, right? He didn't mean it. Okay, I'm at Holmes Distribution Center. Great. Okay, uh, so take a look around for a computer, one of those old crap box ones. Now, Holmes stores their schedules based on number plate destination combinations, like some kind of barely literate moron. If that moron was, you know, a company. <laughs> Good to know. I'll see what I can find. Where are you? Got it.
I got the list. Okay, great. So now all you have to do is stroll over to the distribution center and match the number plate of one of their trucks to the one that's headed downtown. Man, this is so analog. I told you. Luddites. the back, talk to Joe. They'll let you in. Uh-huh. I'm not enabling anymore. Deep rock crash to our home. What was that? You catch that?
Found the truck. Great. Now what are you waiting for? Smash and grab, my friend. I got the shipment and I'm inbound. I already the welcoming committee. Tell me I got something good. Nope. Trash. Trash. Oh. Oh. <sighs> well, you got the goods. Is it actually good? It might be evil. I don't know. This is home we're talking about. <clears throat> All right, well, I will get this little fucker prepped while you go get us some caffeine. Uh, wait, you want me to get you two coffee? No, he's a robot. I want you to get us caffeine. You'll take a decaf.
of confidential emails has had unexpected consequences for HMP Studios. Contents of the documents expose an ongoing contentious collaboration with Galilei, the company responsible for the expensive high-tech car featured in the studio's latest blockbuster, CyberDriver. The emails reveal that a studio executive referred to the car as a useless lemon and threatened legal action against the space company. There was good news for HMP Studios, however, Following the hack, interest around the movie spiked, making CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Police say that the studio has yet to press charges against the hacker group. We'll keep you posted. Marcus, have you looked at our follower count lately? <laughs> We're making waves. We've got to make people see Bloom for what it is, Marcus. The longer it takes, the more they rely on CTOS. They'll get used to things the way they are, and then DeadSec becomes a conspiracy theory fringe. It won't matter if what we're saying is true, if people don't want it to be. Yeah, but this is just the start. When we show them the shit that's brewing behind Bloom's doors, they'll join us in droves. <laughs> 